Good morning. Today I want to make a 10 minute workout on functional fitness. There's so many things that we do in everyday life that we need to keep doing forever that I want to work on. All you need today is one weight, your choice, 8, 10, 15 pounder is fine, and a mat. We're going to start, well hopefully you're not coming in out of, rolling out of bed to do this. Hopefully you moved around a little bit. We're going to start just with a squat for warm up. I want your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart weight back in your heels and just come back just a little bit and come on up. So we're doing a little half squat to warm up. Oh, better press start because I don't want to go over the 10 minutes. So toes are up in your shoes. A little half squat to get warmed up. Super glad to be out on this beautiful sunny morning. I may or may not like purple. <laughs> I love purple. Okay, we're only going to do this for eight more minutes and just two minutes of work. No, I'm totally kidding. Now, we're getting a little bit lower, a little bit lower, right? Okay, just give me two more like that. Here's two and one. Now I want you to get your weight and I want you to put it in front of you. What we're gonna do when you pick up groceries, when you pick up a kid, pick up things, you're never gonna pick things up like this. That's gonna kill your back. We are going to squat low, pick up your weight and stand back up. Try to squat low and come back up and then put it back down. That's a sneaky way to get you to squat a little bit lower. But what do we do? We pick up groceries all the time. We pick up books off the floor. We pick up, if you have little kids, toys off the floor. You can never, never practice too many squats. Every time we sit down on a chair, on the toilet, what is that? Oh my gosh, that's a squat. I also want to work on today is getting on up and down off the ground. I had a friend say she had trouble getting up off the ground. My friends, this is not okay. We're gonna do two more. I need you to be able to get up and down off the ground. Just one more right here, because we can. Now let's put that to the side a little bit. I want you to get your mat out in front of you. Okay. Get it on your knees. Stand up. Down your knees. And you're thinking, is this a workout? Well, guess what? When you can't get up off the ground, you're in trouble. I want you to be able to get down off the ground. We are gonna make this harder, I promise. I want you to alternate your side. So if you go right foot down first, left foot down here. Now this is the, not too bad, right? Okay, let's sit down on the ground. On the mat or on the ground is fine. Now get up. You can try to use, you can try without hands or look ma, no hands. And stand up. Guess what's working? Your core is working overtime every time you do that. So you're coming down and getting up. Uh, if you try to do it the other way, that might be a little harder. Let's try. Other foot in front. Ugh, it is. Ugh. We're always dominant on one side. Let's do two more. Turn it down, and we're already at three minutes. Do you have to get up off the ground? You do. This is super duper functional. One more. Now your weight's off to the side. I want all the weight on that left leg, a little bit of bend, and when you come down and touch it and come back up. We all lose balance as we get older. And the funny thing is, when I was teaching in the classroom, I would always, always have my students say, my balance is terrible. Do you work on it? No. It's like anything else. If you don't work on it, it's not gonna improve. If your strength is not good, work on your strength. Whew. And just like anything else, one side is always uh, better balanced than the other side. It's always going to be easier. My cat Fezzik is going to join in. Don't want to kick him. One more and we're going to hold it halfway down. Hold it halfway down. Keep a bend in that standing leg, please. Hi Pop, check it out. 
this balance is very good. Switch sides, a little bend in that right leg, a little bend and right hand, same arm, same leg. Which would be, I did it wrong. Same arm, same leg would be left hand coming forward, silly me. Again, one side, always better balanced. We're going slow and controlled. This is something you can do every day. You could practice 10 of these on each side every day. Because guess what? We are all getting older and you see so many older people falling and breaking their hips. I don't wanna break my hip, heck no. I'm gonna do two more and then we're gonna hold it. I'm gonna do one more. Whew. Hold it halfway down make sure that knee is just a little bit bent, please. And come on up. Now when you get back down your mat, I'm gonna flip back just a little bit. And you're gonna come on all fours. Come on all fours. Now from here, I want you to step out, out, and stand up. Out, out. Guess what? That's another way to do a squat. Down, down, and step out, out, and up. What am I doing? I'm teaching you how to get up off the ground, but I'm also making you squat. Down, down, up. The point is to keep your legs bent. Please don't have straight legs. Down, down. We're gonna do 500 more. No, just five more. Keep those legs down, keep that butt down. Because you can. Four to go. Hang in there with me. Three. Butt stays down, please. We got two more. Here's two, last one. Now I want you to hold it in, a, in that squat, hold it in that low squat, because guess what? You can. Four, three, two, one. Come on up. Let's move that mat over to the side. One more, then we'll be done. Just a little bit of standing core work. I want your arms up. And I want you to bring your knee in and hold it, because guess what? It's core, but it's also balance. You can tap back or bring that leg back and bring it in. If you fall over, totally fine. That just means you're human. So you can come back here, tap down and come back up. Think about your core, hold it nice and tight. Here's three, hang in there. Ooh, we're good on time. Here's two, one more. Ah! Hold it here, hold it here, hold it here. Three, two, one, come on up, shake it out. Oh, that got the opposite glute too. So you get balance, you get core, get a little bit of glute. Let's bend that right leg. Here's your hands. Bring that knee in. Tighten up that core. Think about what you're working. Tap down if you need to because you don't want to fall over. Right? Bring it in. Now you will notice when we do these, one side is so much better balanced for sure. I am on my weaker side, so I'll be tapping down more so I don't fall over, just like everybody else, right? Falling over. We're gonna do four more just like that. Keep that same leg bent. Here's three, beautiful work. Here's two, one more. Hold three, two, one, come on up. We're gonna do one more set of the squats. Let's grab that weight. Okay. Think about keeping your chest up and your shoulders back. Squat it down, come on up. Remember, we're not gonna lean forward. We're gonna stay nice and tall. This time we're gonna hold onto it. Cause we're at the grand finale. We are almost done. You couldn't do anything. This is a 10 minute workout. And is it gonna get you sweaty? Probably not. Is it gonna help you with everyday tasks? 100% yes. Let's do, let's see, 100? 99? No, we'll go five more, that'll be it. There's five, hang in there, because you can. Here's four, here's three. You got this, here's two, 
Okay, Fezzik, there's one more. Hold it halfway down. Four, three, two. Place it on the ground. Thank you for joining me today. I always want you to work on things that are going to help you long term. Do you know most people go into nursing homes because they can't get up off the toilet? That's a squat. We're young and fabulous now, but I always want you to be strong enough so you can stand up on your own. These things will help. Balance work helps. Is it super um, glamorous and exciting? No, but it is functional and it will help you out with everyday life. Have an amazing rest of your day.